welcome back in the next three videos what we're going to do is to first look at the tiled interface in the next video we'll look at some of the shortcut tools and then finally we're going to create our tiles and then export them to gdevelop so that's what we're going to be doing this video is just going to go over the interface some general setups and tools in our next video we'll actually go in depth and look at how we can create a tile and then finally, we will see how we can export that tile to GDevelop. So first, when you open up Tiled, you will actually see this nice, uh, very, very empty and blank interface. But believe me, this is powerful as well. It's very important to organize your files. So the first thing we'll do is to quickly organize this and create a place where we can save this uh, project. So I'll head over to my OneDrive where I have GDevelop projects. And I'll just create one right here. I'll right click and create a new folder. And I'll just call this uh, tiled project. And within our first project folder, I'm going to create a new folder called map. So I'm just going to say view folder and I'm going to call this map. While I'm going to be doing everything in the tiled project, Tile tiled project folder right here where we call tiled project i'll be saving every project i have here i'm going to be saving the maps for our level here called map and we'll actually go ahead and see that so i have a folder called tile project just for organization now the first menus you're going to see you're going to have the file edit view and project and then the help you can check out the user manual when you click the help with the file menu drop down you can create a new project a new map or a new tile set. A project is gonna be a house or a container for everything. A new map is going to be your level, how large that world is going to be. And a tile set is going to be those sprite drawings, those tiles, the group of tiles you're going to use to create your level. So let's go ahead and just create a blank new uh, template, or let's let's just quickly go over, uh, go over this. Now we can't really see some of these till we create a project. So I'm just going to click on new project. And here, let's just move over to our OneDrive. And I'm going to head over to this OneDrive, GDevelop projects, tile projects. And I'm just going to call this our first level like so. So this is going to be our new project, our tile project called First Level. And what we're going to do is to create a new map. So I'll just click on new map. And here it's going to ask us if we want this to be orthogonal or we're going to set orthogonal and we're going to use CSV. These are the, and we're going to leave this on right down. And for the tile size, we're going to be creating 16 using 16 by 16 pixel sizes because the artwork we have from the creator, he said uh, the file size is 16 by 16 pixels. If this is 32 by 32 pixels, you switch this to 32 by 32 pixels. And I want this size to be roughly equal to almost 320. I know 320 pixels is 20 tiles. So I'll just set this to 20 and let's say 180, let's try 10 or let's try 12. So I'm going to do a 320 by 1792. I'm going to click OK. Now this is our area right here. This is our scene or view area. This is where we can do things like create tiles or paint tiles. And by default, we have a tile layer right here. So let's go ahead and see some preferences and some setups you can actually do to uh, improve your workflow. So first, let's go to edit and then go to preferences. So over on the general preferences, right here where it says uh, restore previous sessions on startup, yours might be ticked. So I'm going to untick that. And for our export options, let's see if we have export options here or it's not here. So we're going to leave this one here for our interface. We're going to use the system default. And for our keyboard and theme, you can actually change the theme to uh, it's built in. It's on Tiled Fusion. I'm going to switch that and leave it on native. So on the interface, what I also like to do is to enable mouse wheel zooming. So here it's going to be mouse wheel zooming like so. And make sure you actually have uh, 
mild uh, mouse wheel <laughs> zooming. And let's go ahead. So let's look for, so we have under our general, so embed tile sets. So this is what I was looking for. Make sure you click embed tile sets. Basically, this is going to include your tile set in your map when you're exporting your map. So let's go ahead and close this as well. So this is the most common tool here. It's called the stamp tool. And we're going to be using this stamp tool to create the tile sets. So that's going to be it for uh, this lesson. So, but what we need to do is to save our uh, tiled project file. It's different from the project. Now we have a tiled project setup that has our scene with our grid view. What we need to do next is to save this tile map so we can always open this uh, TMX file rather than tile map. So let's click on save. And once well, where we have the tiled project, let's just call this our first Let's call that first level as well. So if we save that, we can actually see we have our first level dot TMX, which is a tiled map object. So in our next lesson, we're going to go over how to import our tile set and then go over these tools. And then finally, we're going to build our level.